Hello, well, it's Disney week here, so I'm going to bippity boppity uh, magic you into a wonderful counting, rhythmically sound student in Essential Elements Book One. We're going to start this video. It's a continuation of some of the other rhythms that I've counted, and I'm keeping the crown on because I'm the diva of rhythms. <laughs> so we're going to start here with measure 49 which is on page 43 that is line one two three four if you have this book you probably can refer to it if not i'm gonna hold it up now you can take a screenshot so you know where we are but here is where we're starting on measure 49 so kind of going through this these are more of those rhythms with eighth notes remember that's how they're going to be a down or an up as you count through. All right, so I see eighth notes. I see nothing on line 49 through 52 other than eighth notes or eighth note rests, which it, either it's a half a count or it's a half a count. So here we go. This is my foot. Ready, set, and here I go. One, two, two, three, four, two, one, two, and and forte, one te, two, and four te, and two te, and four. Interesting. So let's break that up a little bit. There's a lot of room to mess up in this line. Measure 49. Pretty smooth sailing. It just looks scary. Everything's on the downbeat, except for the eighth notes that are up. <laughs> Did that even make sense? <laughs> oh, whoa. So, one, te, two, three, four, te. Okay, got that. That's not so bad. Let me move back so I got room for you to see my downs and ups. It's because the queen says so. Okay, so that's 49. Let me do it again. One, te, two, three, four, te. Okay, that's 49. 50. There's where the, where's where the problem comes in. My tongue's in a pretzel now because you're... Downbeats are hidden in the rest on part of this measure. So you have one te, two is on the rest. So one te, 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 four te. Why is it four te? Because that falls on beat four, four and. Your foot would be down, up, 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 down, up. Or if you're doing ands, one and, and, and four and. That's how that measure goes. So that's measure 50. Measure 51 is kind of a combination. Okay, so we go. One, te, two, te, four, te. You have to be patient for those two eighth note rests. Two eighth note rests together, it feels like a beat. It is a beat, but it falls between a one and an and. So again, down, up, down, up, down, up, that's my toe. Or you say one and two and four and. That's measure 51. One last time, measure 51 with ones and tays. One, tay, two, tay, four, tay. That's measure 51. Measure 52 again. This is a tricky one because it starts with a little rest. So you know the one is in the rest because that's the beginning of the measure. So, te, two, te, te, four. The rest at the end. <laughs> so here it is again. Here's the beat. Down, up, down, up, 52. Up, down, up, up, down. That's very strange. <laughs> te, two, te, te, four. And that's that measure. Okay, so going on to the line that starts with 53 and going across. We have now changed the rhythms that they're focusing on to the opposite kind of, of what we just did. We have dotted quarter notes. Now, a dot, a dot that is added to a note. In this line, every note that has a dot is a quarter note. It adds one half of whatever the value of that note is. So it's all, you know, it extends the length of the note. So a quarter note, one B. Half of one is half, right? So this is going to be one and a half. 
That's how you count a dotted quarter note. So as we look through, you're going to do a little pulsating if you're going to do it like your most band students do. So let me count it that way first. Yeah, it does look kind of strange. You have to have the patience for your foot to go down, up, down. Because it's going to feel almost like a half note, but not quite because it's one and a half, not a full two counts, right? It's one and a half counts. Here's 53. Ready? And counting now. One, take three, four, rest. Two, three, take one, two, take, take, one, take three. Now even your teacher balked at 55. 55 is one, two, then three is actually on the eighth note. That's weird. Three, take. That's weird. So you got to make sure you had that. One, ta, 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 ta. That's how that would count. Ta, 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 ta. That's how you'd play it. <laughs> All right. That's line 53 through 56 for you. Again, if we want to go back through, we could count all of that together. You could break it up and do it in sections, or you could play it. If you played 50, line 53 through 56, it'd sound like this. Let me find good old concert F. Okay, 53, ready and play. That's how you'd play 53. How you'd play 49? Should we stay on concert F? Sure. One take, two take, ready, 49. That's 49. And 45 on concert F. One, two, forty-five, and that's some of my mad piano playing skills. <laughs> I reach over and I'm just doing it right there. Woo! Okay, so that's how you would play that if you were playing on piano or playing along with your instrument. Good luck with your counting. You're at the point, if you're counting these types of rhythms, that you're really playing some good literature, some pretty difficult rhythms, uh, that you would see these type of rhythms all the way through, typically in bands through middle school, high school for sure, and students struggling with some of these. So if you are understanding you're, you're doing really well, and you want to make sure that you continue concentrating, knowing where your foot goes down, where your foot comes up, and you'll be in great shape for your band.